Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everybody else in between, welcome back to my channel. So, she's parked. She'll be parked for a while. Simply because the other day when I was riding, if you guys watched that last video, I told you how uh, it started crawling or creeping on me, it's called. And I thought maybe it had something to do with my uh, clutch. And then tonight, I went out for a ride, and it was fine. And then coming out, uh, coming home, I noticed that I lost my engine braking. I had no engine braking. And it wasn't until I got to my buddy's place, I realized I couldn't put it out of, get it out of gear. And then the other symptom was when I put it on RPMs, my RPMs, and I'm not, I don't know if it's going to do it right now. Let's just try it here. So I've got it on RPMs, and uh, we'll go ahead and start it. And yeah, I thankfully it went to twelve. It started at twelve fifty, but what it was doing was it went up to eighteen hundred RPM, and then down there you could hear that sound. Water pump. And my buddy was like, yeah, it's doing that because of your water pump. And I'm like, no, what, what would the water pump have? Why would that have anything to do with the RPMs on the bike? And then sure, sure, sugar. Um, yeah, we went on the forums and my buddy started reading it off. And this guy read the exact same thing that I'm telling you guys right now. Um, I don't know if it's a safety thing on, on for Polaris. Is that, so you can actually literally hear it or... Because the water pump is going, it sometimes somehow senses the water pressure or something, so it turns up the RPM to get that water flow. And then, like the forum thing, it literally said, and then it'll drop down to 1250, and then that horn sound will go away. And that's exactly right. So, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this, so I'm going to try this again. So, my phone's going to connect, probably. Yeah. So she's in park, but I want to see once I get it up to 1800 RPM, if you can hear that horn. So no, I'm not hearing it. That's actually really, really weird because when it does 1800 RPM on its own, you can hear it. But when I do it, that horn sound disappears. So I got to get on the phone tomorrow, first thing with Polaris. Uh, it's 1130 at night here now. Uh, like I said, I basically just came in and uh, parked it. And it's kind of a bummer. You know, like I said, here. Let me just do this again here real quick for you guys. So there it is, 321.4 hours on it. And then since my last video there... The thumbnail, yes, I actually managed to get the picture right at 10,000.2 kilometers. Um, and then, you know, I ended up recording it just a little bit later when I got home. So that's why there was a difference between the thumbnail and what you guys saw in the video. So since then, I put 10,128 kilometers. So one, I would say that horn probably happened before the 9,000K or before the 10,000K, like pretty close. And then it was fine there, and then tonight it did it to me again. So I'm going to say this actually happened probably before the 10,000 mark. But then it did it really good tonight where it stayed on I for the ride home, which was probably about, it's probably about 8K, uh, the ride home, roughly 8, 9K, something like that. And uh, coming home, of course, that's when... I, I didn't have engine braking at all, which is a really weird feeling when you're used to engine braking. I got to tell you that. And that had me thinking my clutch the whole time. And then, of course, getting home and not being able to take it out of gear. I checked my RPMs and it's sitting at 1800 RPM. And didn't I was sitting there playing with the throttle, hitting the throttle, like revving it up and stuff like that. It just wouldn't do anything. Didn't change it. I thought maybe my carburetor was stuck open or maybe an injector was stuck. So I think and right now where I'm at is replacing the uh, water pump. And I know for a fact, um, well, if I can, I'm going to upgrade to the billet aluminum one. Um, if this is still under warranty, if the water pump is, is considered part of the drivetrain and is still under warranty, I don't know if Polaris actually builds a, a billet aluminum one. 
Um, if they do, I'll pay for that upgrade. If if so, um, if not, I'm I'll, I guess I'll be just paying for a new water pump myself. Um, I already looked at uh, Pure Polaris Parts Canada website, and uh, I got the part numbers already, and I I'd, I'd like to share them with you. But I literally just took screenshots of them. And if you guys are interested in it, doing this stuff here, just go to Pure. You got to do a search. Go, it's all spaced, right? So you go Pure Space Polaris Space Parts. And then I, I do Canada because I'm in Canada. And then there's a website that I go to, and it's really simple. I just scroll down to Sportsman, go in there, uh, select um, you want parts for your, your vehicle. So you hit that, and you select your vehicle, and then just go through the list. It was really easy because actually this one here, it literally comes up as um, coolant and water pump. So I literally got the exploded version of the water pump, and I just got there's three part numbers that I wanted. And, it was for the outside housing, um, and uh, I think the seal and the uh, impeller, so I could actually look. And I've already looked at it, and I found one on Partzilla for like forty one ninety nine. So that's U.S. So I, I, I probably figure it's, it's gonna, probably going to cost me the same as what it does at Polaris, which is fifty one ninety nine. It, it, either way, if I do the whole housing and stuff, it's like about one hundred thirty bucks. It's not going to be a really expensive repair, but of course, it's a crucial one. So. Um, 10,128 kilometers, guys. That's where I'm at. I got to do a water pump on this thing. So that would be the second major repair. If you want to call a water pump, it is. That, yeah, that's a major repair. Um, that's a big one. So, uh, yeah. Thankfully, though, it ain't going to cost me an arm and leg. So that's great. Just wanted to give you guys this update. Uh, once again, thanks a lot so much for watching my channel. Um, continue content. I do my best for you guys. And, uh no bull i'll let you know anything that goes wrong with this thing anything and everything so if you've got one but i mean all in all i'm still impressed both these tires tonight were low they both had like three pounds in them so even though they're still i got that wear bar like i said uh, i think that they're pretty much i think they pretty much had their day so uh, i'm gonna hopefully save up some money for next month and i'll get a new set of tires i don't know if i'm just gonna replace the back ones or go those back the front ones are still like new really but i may end up just buying all new big horns i'm almost thinking about going to zillas but most likely going to big horns and uh yeah so that's where i'm at boys and girls and everybody in between um so yeah that's it guys thanks a lot for so much for watching of course uh leave a comment i read try to read every single one of you guys and if i don't reply right away um there's always that little heart that i try to do let you guys know i read it um, so there it is. Thanks a lot guys. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.